Number three. If you want to live for holy, if you want to keep your heart pure, what must you do? Keep the word of God in your heart. The book of Psalm 119 when you read verse 9 and 11 the Bible says this how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word verse 11 your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. In John chapter 17 verse 17 the Bible says sanctify them by your truth. Your word is in John chapter 15 verse 2 the Bible says this verse 3 sorry you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you Brothers and sisters, before it not that you can see everywhere the first scripture I've read. read. When you take the word of God to heart, the word of God has purifying power. The word of God has sanctifying power. Is within a man of Melissa. See, living holy and keeping your heart clean is not very complicated if you are willing. Allow Jesus in your heart. Every day pray. And every day go to your Bible. Read the Bible. Bible. Listen to the teachings and preaching of the word. And keep thinking about that. The more you think and meditate upon the word of God, you will notice automatically certain bad habits will fall away. You may not even know how you stop doing certain things. Because the word of God will come inside of you. The more you think about the word of God, the word of God will start becoming flesh in you. The word of God is Powerful. It will destroy everything else that is contrary to the will of God. Become a lover of the word of God. Now, I'm trying to be very practical here. When I talk to you about prayer, I'm not saying because you, you don't know how to pray, you, you start say, no, I'm going to pray for 10 hours. You will be discouraged. Can I say, I've said this for years. Prayer is difficult. Do yourself a favor. Before you do something, pray even for two minutes. Acknowledge God in everything you do. You will notice the two minutes will become five. The five minutes will become fifteen. The 15 minutes will become one hour. 15 minutes. Slowly, slowly you'll keep increasing and building your relationship with God. Don't say to yourself, no, tomorrow I'm going to read 10 chapters of the Bible. Start 
even with three verses. First thing in the morning, begin to think about the word of God. Talk to God. And what you read during the day, start thinking about that. You have another opportunity. Read another story in the Bible. Don't read here, there, read, read continuously. You come to church, the scriptures we give. When you go home, sit down. Read them. You can read alone, read with your family. What you are learning, share it with someone else. And there is something that many people neglect, and that will be the fourth one. By the way, I'll give you only five, then I'm out of here. There is something else you should do if you want to keep your heart pure. Spend time with those who love God. It is cut. See, yesterday we spoke about the opposite. If you have bad company, they will influence you negatively. But now, you start building a network of people around you who love Jesus. You will notice something. You will become in an encouragement to one another. And beyond that, there is something else very powerful will happen. The blood of Jesus will begin to cleanse you. Okay, let me read two scripture, one Old Testament and one New Testament. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 Isaac 13 verse 20 The Bible says He who walks with wise men will be wise But the companion of fools will be destroyed If you walk with people who are wise they will influence you to become wise Say with me, influence. If you are sleeping, shout influence. <laughs> now, when you walk with people who love Jesus, you will notice your, the love for God in your life will increase. Then let's read 1 John chapter 1 from verse 5. 1 John 1 5. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you. That God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Seven. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have what? Fellowship with one another. See, we have fellowship with him. Naturally, we have fellowship with one another. And something happened. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That fellowship, that connection with 
other like-minded believer is important. And someone may ask me, but how do I go? In, am I going to find those people quickly that love God? The easiest step you can take in your life to pursue holiness is a church attendance. There is service on Wednesday, come on Wednesday. On Sunday, come on Sunday. Every time you are in the church, in the environment of the world, you are in contact with other Christians, the blood of Jesus keep washing you. And the desire to sin will diminish. How many of you have noticed that when you are around children of God, other children of God, even when you are provoked, you wanted to release a powerful word. Then you block. So bad. I believe you, that has happened to you. You just okay. you look and say, ah, it's not proper for me to use this. Word. Now, it's exactly the same thing when you surround yourself with people who are Christians. Certain things you used to do easily, you will not do them. Are you with me? Okay, let me even give you another practical thing to do. You are in a place, even if people don't know that you are a child of God, you are a Christian. Just make sure that everybody around you, your neighbors, your colleagues that way, they know that you love God, you serve God, you are a Christian. And do this intentional. Carry your Bible, not the phone. The one in the phone. The book. If it's at work, put it on your desk. When your client or other people you interact with, they see the book. They'll ask you, oh, you have a Bible. You'll always have that conversation. And this will happen. You're the one carrying the Bible there. You will not be swearing that way. Because the moment you say something wrong, your colleagues, they will say, Oh, Mfundis. How, 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 Mfundis. Even you, now Mfundis. Even you, the pastor. Now you know, they'll call you pastor, they'll call you Mama Mfundis. They'll give you some kind of name, they'll call you Peter or John or. <laughs> but that, what it will do to you, you will know it will discourage you. When they say that, it will go to your heart to, to remind you who you are. Okay, last one. <laughs>